I love this movie. Skip it. You're going to want to see this one in the theaters. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. I'm your host, Tim Heidecker, and I'm joined uh, by my guest this week is Greg Turkington. Hey, guys. Good to be back and uh, reviewing movies once again. Yes, and we'd like to, I think, both apologize for the past few weeks. It's been very challenging, uh, but we've sort of hit our stride. We've kind of got into a rhythm now, and we admit that the past few weeks of On Cinema have been uh, not fair to the audience, to the On Cinema family. It's been disrespectful to you. And uh, per our agreement last week, I believe, Greg, you owe us a review. Of I a did. Get Hard, I, yeah, right? I, um, I have to admit, I was very tired last week, and I don't think I really brought my A game, mm -hmm. as we say. But uh, We didn't bring any game. You didn't see the movie. You didn't see it either. So. No, well, I don't have to, to know well, that do, it was a great because movie. because the premise of the show is two guys comparing their opinions about the movie and mm -hmm. seeing uh, if they agree or disagree. Well, I think I'll be proven right when you when the, when I get to see the movie eventually and find out that I nailed it. Well, you could Anyways, have watched it because I, I watched actually in Pearl City because mm -hmm. uh, we were shooting out by Pearl Harbor. Yeah, the, uh, the, the film is called uh, Get Hard. It's a comedy with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. And it's very much in the vein of the old uh, Silver Streak or Trading Places, mm -hmm. a prison film essentially. Uh, but with a heart of gold and a lot of laughs. And uh, I would say that Will Ferrell has cemented his role as the Gene Wilder of our generation and that Kevin Hart is the Eddie Murphy. And so you pair those up and you're going to have a great movie. I wish you'd seen it, Tim. I think well, you would agree with me. It's a five bag of popcorn. I already gave it the doubt. five bags, which I'm standing well, by and uh, appreciate that review. And you did the right thing. Mm -hmm. you know, no, I was. I wanted to see it. I've been waiting to see that movie for months ever since it was first announced. All right, well, I'm glad we're on the same page there. Uh, well, we're I, not because I saw the movie and you didn't. Well, we are definitely going to be on the same page when I see it. Uh, let's get into these week's movies. I want to say, by the way, it's been a blast doing Decker with you. It's been fun being out there in Hawaii. I actually went body surfing for the first time the other day, met some cool guys, turned me on to some moves. It's kind of sad. we got one more big shoot coming up. We leave tonight and we wrap things up on Decker. Thank you guys Just so the much last, for the last scene. The last couple of scenes we're shooting there and it's it's going to be a little bittersweet to say goodbye and thank you everybody for watching Decker 2. Uh, Port of Call Hawaii Operation Rescue the Island. I haven't seen the script and yet on for the final scene so I am I'm still as curious tweaking, as the viewers I'm, are. I'm still tweaking it and there's a uh, quite so uh, want to keep things under wraps. You know, you always hear about these directors who don't tell their actors what's going to happen uh -huh. until because you don't want leaks to come out, and I don't want anybody to find out the surprise ending of Decker Season Two, Port of Call, Hawaii, Operation Save the Island. Let's get to Furious Seven, directed by James Wang Duan, starring Vin Diesel. This was a good one. Paul Walker, who's dead, died on this movie. Jane Walsh, Jane Johnson. I'm sorry, Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Kurt Russell, the great Kurt Russell. Um, Deckard, oh, another tip of the hat from the filmmaker, Deckard Shaw, but the, my character's name is Decker. This is Deckard. Interesting. And the other one was Kingsman or something, mm -hmm. and it was in Kingston. I mean, these guys are watching yeah. Decker and getting a lot of their ideas from it. And they really are. Of course, my character's name is Jack Deckard, but this is Deckard Shaw. Uh, seeks revenge against Dominic Toretto and his family for the death of his brother. Um, and that is the, the name of the movie is Furious 7 and Lucky 7 because this was lucky enough uh, to be one of my favorite movies of the year and it was full of adventure and action and uh, high-speed car chases which uh, we see a little bit of that in Decker interestingly enough and um, I enjoyed it and all the best to Vin Diesel and the whole family uh, the whole uh, Furious 7 this is this is their film and they deserve every award they're gonna get and it's a seven. It's a seven bagger. It's my first seven bags of popcorn. And I know you're going to call me out on that, but it is a seven bag movie. I think it's strange that they call it Furious Seven instead of Fast and the Furious Seven because there was no Furious One. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't just cut half the title out but keep the numbering system. That's a little strange. I also think it's very sad that uh, Paul Walker passed away, never got to see this movie. I think he would have liked it. It's a very, very good film. Um, if you like car chases, sometimes you don't when you see that they end in fatal accidents. Sometimes enough is enough. You hear about these characters who die on the set of movies like Crow, The Crow and Twilight mm -hmm. Zone. Of course, Paul Walker in Furious 7 going so young 
so earlier before his time, as they say. But the good news is he did doing what he did, which is driving very fast. And that's what this movie celebrates. So in a way, it's a wonderful way for him to go. You'd hate for to hear about him slipping on ice and breaking his neck and choking on his own blood or something. You know. Or just some sort of cancer or something like that. I mean, you know, you get people that live to be 100 years old like George Burns and you think, geez, do we really enjoy the last few movies he made when he was in his 90s? Not really, you know? It's almost like as if Bruce Lee would have been killed uh, getting karate chopped in the neck or something would have been an appropriate way to go. He got punched in the stomach and mm -hmm. then had a fatal stomach uh, ulcer Well, there you something. go. That's the way to go. And if I guess I, if I had to go, it would be maybe... Um, as Decker, uh, parachuting or, or uh, driving almost the same way Paul Walker passed, which is speeding along in a high-speed car chase. It would be quite a scene, wouldn't it? Yeah, but... Go out um, in the blaze of glory. But anyway, I think Fury 7 is fantastic. I'm going to have to give it five bags of popcorn plus a, a little kind of commemorative gold cross in memory of Paul Walker, R.I.P. Thanks, Paul, for all the high-speed car chases, which gave me gave, put such a smile on my face over the years. Uh, Woman in Gold, directed by Simon Curtis, uh, starring Ryan Reynolds, Katie Holmes, and Helen Mirren. Maria Altman, an octogenarian, an octogenarian, an octogenarian, an octogenarian Jewish refugee, takes on the government to recover artwork she believed rightfully belonged to her family. This was a sad movie. Uh, it got, brought a tear to my eye in the same way that the passing of Paul Walker did. Uh, something I learned from values.com was to check in with your emotions every once in a while and don't be afraid to cry. Even grown men can cry, and I certainly did during Woman in Gold. It made me think about the Jews in a way that I never had done before, which is uh, that they were um, persecuted. Obviously, they were persecuted, but not just hurt, but uh, some of their gold was taken, too. Yeah, when this came out, when it was announced and I saw it, I thought, okay, Woman in Gold, this is going to be a sequel to Woman in Red, which was one of my favorite comedies of the 1980s. And then uh, I read the description, and I'm like, this is not a sequel to Woman in Red. This is a very different film. And uh, it's not the kind of thing I would take small children to, uh, unless you're trying to teach them something about history, mm -hmm. uh, in which case I do recommend it. Uh, Helen Mirren is always great. She's kind of a national treasure. She should be in gold. They should make a statue of Helen Mirren in gold and give that out at the Oscars because she's fantastic. She's, I just adore her. I you give know, her five bags of popcorn and with some golden butter on it. Mm, some women in gold. Yeah, I give it five bags of popcorn and uh, six cups of soda. And uh, I think I want to dedicate this episode to Paul Walker. And I think this, uh, the Academy should honor him this year and say, uh, we should officially, this is just an idea off the top of my head, change his name to Paul Driver because that's what he loved doing is driving cars fast. And that is very cool. Uh, obviously, Marilyn Monroe was Norma Jean. She changed her Arnold name. Arnold Schwarzenegger kept his name, and that's one of the more difficult names to pronounce or to spell. But why call somebody anyway? that loved driving cars from after he's dead? Who cares anymore? Why not change his name from Walker, which doesn't represent what he does? What he does is drive fast. So you change his name to Paul driver or Paul Turbo. I just think if you're going to change not, the names, you change it while they're alive so that they can trade on that trademark, you know what I mean? I mean, somebody like Sylvester Stallone. Stallone is like a powerful kind of name. Stallone, you know. If he's Sylvester Jones, that's not really good. Well, and my point is, obviously you can't change it now. It's beyond the point. Well, I mean, they, they could change it now, which they should. Why not honor him by changing it to something cool like Paul Turbo, Paul Driver, Paul Carr. But then you have like to that. go fix the credits for all the movies he made to reflect the new name. And they that's... did that with old Star Wars movies when they added Jabba the Hutt to all the different yeah, scenes. Yeah, but nobody's happy with that. I liked it, it's but most nice, people it's prefer... It's a neat way to show some respect. Thank you guys so much, and we'll be joining you for the season finale of On Cinema uh, next week, and uh, and also Decker be ra and also Decker Season 2. On Friday uh, night, we'll see, see how it all ends. Finale of Decker season two. We've got to finish watching that show too. I just want to thank our Hawaiian crew and our Hawaiian actors and everybody we met in Hawaii. What and thanks we for learn? the hospitality. I want to say uh, mahalo to all the people in Hawaii. Mahalo and aloha. And aloha. And, yeah, really nice people for natives. Thank you guys so much for watching. So um, all I'm saying is that why not honor the guy? Who cares about the name is so generic anyways, Paul Walker. He doesn't want to try. <sighs> yeah, I see.
just think that, that his family, they, they want to be associated with him. So for they them change to- change their name too. But that's a lot of letterhead you have to replace and driver's licenses. I just don't think they're going to think it's worth it. I don't know why you're, you're, you don't want me to think off the top of my head now. Well, it's not that.